Hey everybody, happy Friday. Hi everybody. All right, so I'm Sophie, Communications and Marketing at Become Studios Canada. And I'm Felix, Developer and Game Designer at Become Studios. So it's good to see you. We're the team behind the digital board game Tales from Candle Keep Tomb of Annihilation. So it's the adaptation of the board game Tomb of Annihilation. If you don't know uh, what it is, we're going to play some game today. Um, and before we get started, I hope you guys enjoyed the last uh, sales that were on Twitch. So there were a big D&D sale with a bunch of Dungeons & Dragons mm -hmm. sale. You have games from Beamdog, you also had Neverwinter, Idol Champions, and um, us and so much more. Yes. So um, I did get some extra DLCs I didn't have with that sale. I hope you guys uh, took advantage of that. and. Um, we didn't see each other since the week before the stream of Many Eyes, so again, I hope you enjoyed that weekend as well. We had some people over in person. Uh, we didn't get to go ourselves, but I did tune in some of the stream of Many Eyes streams over on Twitch, and um, I'm sure you guys have, and uh, good to see you. We have some people saying hi in chat here. Yes. Thanks for joining us. Thank you. So, Hungry J, Halfman, Hi Auric. good to see you again. Familiar faces. Did you guys get to go to um, to LA and check the streams in person? <laughs> All right. Well, Iori, we didn't broadcast last week because the stream of Many Eyes was taking up the whole Friday and weekend. Yeah. And uh, yeah, they were pretty full on their schedule, so we gave them the our time slot. Right, so they needed the whole afternoon before the stream of Many Eyes to do technical testing and just get ready for the for the big weekend. So we were not here last week for uh, for that reason, but it's good to see you guys again this week. Just means we uh, we missed you. We have uh, a lot of things to discuss yes. today, and um, you just watched the stream, so you didn't get to go angry Jay sh uh, sharing with us on Twitch. Well, so the streams were very interesting, and if you still have questions from Sunday night, it was the big show. Yes. Oh yeah. <laughs> because the whole stream that I watched for about two hours, like, is that a big show? Is that? Yes. <laughs> Insane. And you know, um, one thing I love about um, events like these, it's the, the cosplay, because I'm a big fan of cosplaying, and some of the costumes were amazing. Yeah. Did they show them? Well, I saw some of the performers that were dressed. Oh yeah. In too. costumes. And uh, well, did they show like the events in the streams? Did you see any Right, of so I mean, some of the games, uh, some of the players in the game usually are always costumed, mm -hmm. uh, but also you uh, were able to go into Waterdeep, like the whole city, okay. and people were just cosplaying and nice. all that is great. That was crazy, funny, big show, it was great. <laughs> so, all right, so what to do with the DLC key? You can hold on to it, you can give it to a friend, so with the DLC key, it can be... Which one do you have? It can be Kawasha, Artist, or any of the heroes. Well, if heroes. you want it from us, that's probably Kawasha. Yes, Kawasha. So, uh, all you need to activate the key is head over to Steam and activate your key. Um, just like any Steam games, though, you yeah. have to own the base game, which, if you don't have, you could win today because we have, you know, the usual Friday giveaways. So, we have the base game to give away today, and also another uh, DLC key to give away today. So uh, I saw over on Facebook Terry saying hi and hoping for new content of Tales from Candle Keep. So of course, uh, we do have plans for new content, whether it's multiplayer co-op or working on other uh, board games like Legend of Dread, Temple of Elemental Evil. So we don't have any dates uh, set in stone for you guys, but as soon as we do, we'll keep you updated on what's coming with Tales from Candle Keep. And a Techno saying on Twitch, here's hoping we get a Tales from Candle Keep game for the new storyline. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> and, All right. Uh, well, with the new storyline that's going to be in Waterdeep with some city-based adventures is going to be very interesting. And you can probably use some of those concepts to port it into a Candle Keep storyline. Oh, yes. Use your imagination. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. So, hey, Felix, what quest are we doing today? We are doing prayer to Miracle. Miracle? Miracle. Mm -hmm. Let's say Miracle. The Lord of Bones, so no less. I will try to fight my little cough that I had this week and oh. do my storytelling voice for the little text. So, the influence of Miracle, the Lord of Bones, is strong in Mbala. Even though he is not your deity, you should buy peace by making him an offering. Right, so uh, this quest has the objective, and you can see the type of objectives are different between each quest, but this one says exploration, so you can already tell the, 
the goal would be to explore X amount of tile. And for today, we won't be doing explorer mode. We're gonna go back yes. to classic, uh, so we can have regular encounter mode. So Felix, you can just go over the differences yes. uh, for people that are oh, new yes. to uh, the stream. So classic is pretty much like 99% of the rules of the board game. So we, you have encounters if you don't explore. And the rules are based around pushing you to keep making progress. Whereas Explorer is the more relaxed way to play. The you you don't have like the push to explore. You can well you can roll on your encounters in classic. Right. So exclusive encounters. I'm still not sure. And we can see it in the bottom menu. They can be on and off in either of the modes. So okay. if you want to have exclusive encounters to one of the modes, you just check the box or uncheck the box depending on your preference. So classic, as it says, you play the campaign with the original rule set. So mm -hmm. and the, the other one is the Explorer rule set. So today. We're gonna make a jump back into classic and explore with um, with the encounters. That's why I like the animation. Yes. And the little effect. <laughs> and Lady Mayhem, this is Tales from Candle Keep: Tomb of Annihilation. That's available on Steam now. And uh, yeah, it's a strategy game based on the Tomb of Annihilation board game that's over there. But the box is open and the yes. minis are all spread out, so we're not gonna show you. But we have the manual if we want to oh, show yeah. something. Oh yeah, oh of course, let me get this. We have so. the manual with the figurine uh, sets. Let me move this. So a bunch of figurines in the box, by the way. If you do play the, the Tomb of Annihilation campaign, which by the way, we got to the city of Omu in my campaign. Ooh. And I'm very worried because we're not very high level, but uh, anyway, so you know Tomb of Annihilation, uh, Tales from Candle Keep is based on the board game by WizKids that is uh, from the adventure system. So it's not quite the Tomb of Annihilation pen and paper mm -hmm. campaign. It's really based on the board game. But the board game is based on the pen and paper. Yes. Loose, well, so loosely. based on a, something that's based on something. Yeah. <laughs> Essentially. But yeah, okay. So we're going to be in classic mode. So it's going to be a little rougher. That's not why I'm playing, but I'm going to get my butt kicked. We like the challenges. <laughs> we want to see the horrific difficulty. See, well, of so course. That's what we're going to do. Yes. And uh, let's go with the whole party. I'm going to try different spells. So as an arrow. I can have Scorching Ray or Sleep or Fire Shield. Well, I'm going to try Scorching Ray. Yeah, that's a good spell. Rays of spell. Fire, hurl them at her enemies. Okay. This is one of my favorite with the Shara. If you want to go damage with the Shara, you have to take Scorching Ray. Okay. Well, you can, you can attack monsters and you can uh, use this power three times each charge. Okay, that's interesting. And then Dragon Bait, Compel Duel. So basically, he's going to taunt. Hmm. Or bless strike. Okay, let's go with the dawn. I'm curious about this <laughs> All one. Right. I've never nice. seen it, so we could probably find a way to make that. And uh, any suggestions about? Uh, I let you go song? with whatever you, you feel like taking. Usually, I go with either uh, the healing or just go with hypnotic pattern. But okay. I, I would say good. song of rest is probably my ninety percent uh, time. Okay. Uh, daily power. I'm curious about song. dramatic strike. Is it like, oh, <laughs> it's so dramatic. But, and uh, Kawasha, well, Cold Lightning is awesome. Uh, but the Raptor, uh, Raptor Shake. Alright, so, you know, you can always change your ab abilities based on what your objective is. If your objective is to defeat something, you wa may want to go for something that's more damaged. But if you explore, um, if you go for something that is more defensive or uh, helps your, your movement, like jump, for example, with that's artists. Smart. All okay. right. So let's see and, how uh, we do. To the people in chat who were lucky enough to catch the streams last weekend, did you have a favorite one? Did you like especially enjoy one of the games that you saw or curious? I didn't catch all that many, but the, the jocks mac and the one at the end was really fun. Yeah. With uh, the cleric that was following Celine Dion, that was pretty insane. Really? I yeah, didn't well, know that. Like when he channeled his god, it was Celine Dion, so it was pumping his chest and I didn't know. singing "My Heart Will Go On" and everything. So that oh wow, that was uh, something. And it, the guy was, let's say, my body of biceps, my body size of biceps, basically. So he was huge and oh uh, yeah, following Celine Dion. <laughs> Rivals of Waterdeep was fantastic. Techno Skull, I didn't get to see that one. But you know what, they have 
They have, I believe, now all of the VODs available on their YouTube channel, right? So, okay, I have to collect, collect 10 intact bones. I did not read the quest at the start, but okay. So, collect 10 intact bones. What do you think you have to kill in order to pick up bones? I would assume skeletons. <laughs> hey, that's a, that's a safe assumption. So, okay. Makina, yes. <laughs> Forest Grey was great. So I got to see uh, Friday night. I got to see Friday. I think it was Critical Role and then... I'm not sure. They they had a lot of technical difficulties uh, oh. when I was watching. There were um, no audio at some point, or there were audio but no sync, but uh, you know they managed to, to work it out, but... Well, Pendeteers, I would say that yes, it's worth buying the complete edition, but we are kind of biased. <laughs> but if you like what you see, though, I mean, it's worth checking out. And uh, yeah, I think you're going to have some fun if you're enjoying what you're seeing right now. And also encouraging developers and just satisfying your thirst or hunger for more D&D stuff. I mean... It's up to you. So the complete edition, uh, it includes the DLCs uh, of all the heroes when it comes to having their crafting materials and legendary item, but also uh, you're able to have the custom die sets that you see, okay. like the, the birdsong colorful die, and you're able to have those those as well. Wallpapers uh, for the game. The, the real life die set that I use is exactly like birdsongs, and I realized that when I was playing, I was like, oh my god, wait. That's exactly the same kind of colors that I have for my my set of dyes. I, I really like the purple teal kind of mixed color. So now I have to solve a puzzle. Yeah. Okay. So this one would be in this corner. Hmm. Now I'm curious. So do I have to bring all my adventures? Right. So I'm gonna give a little walkthrough on how to solve the puzzles in case you don't know, guys. Um, mm -hmm. there's always three tiles of hands but look at the dots on the tile they can Whoa. tell you first of all the red statue is represented by the red dot but it moves around so you have to kind of figure it out where it stands on the grid and you should see a certain amount of yellow green circles those represent your heroes so this one goes mm -hmm. here clearly and you go and when it's activated, the tile is just Oh, okay. I don't up. have to bring all my team. I, I was wondering if... Yes, you do. So you see you have two here. It's not just one that you have to bring in. You have th th these to present two heroes. That's a third hero. And then if you rotate the camera, no, the other way. you have two other circles. Okay. So you need to bring in everybody and you can see which are the ones that, that count. Okay. And... Then it opens up and you get to pick your chests on there. So you have to be sure you look at all the tiles because all of them are relevant to solving that okay. puzzle. So this one's covered because that's the mm -hmm. this one it probably would blow up if I guess. Yeah. If I... And those are very dangerous, I would say, to do in classic mode because if you stay no move, you have you're gonna have an encounter every time. So move when you're sure where you want to go, or at least mm -hmm. try to. Use maybe maybe use a uh, the crystal ball if you have it for those sort of puzzles. The crystal ball will tell me the solution. No, it will um, prevent you from having three encounters. Oh, okay. So it basically buys oh, you smart. three turns to to solve your puzzle. I think you can reach it. So uh, Angry Jay is telling so us on Twitch both here. dice camera action games were fun to watch. So it was West Coast, so for me some of the shows were lasting very very late, so I was not able to watch everything live, but I'm gonna have to go back and watch some of the VODs of the, the streams I've missed for the uh, stream of Many Eyes. I think the, 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 the... I'm trying to find it... Okay, Forest Grey, I think, after building some of their banners into the site, was... I think that's the one with Ryan Posehn and Joe, whose name is probably going to be butchered, Manganiello. Magni yeah. Yeah, that's, <laughs> that's kind of not too sure about how to pronounce it. And there were a couple more that were really, like, cool players and people that I know. That's already... Uh... Okay, so I'm not yeah, going oh to Yeah, oh gosh, yes. So I'm hoping to solve the puzzle. 
Stay techno saying I may try to explore a mode on my Let's Play series on YouTube then. If you do, mention us on Twitter and we'd love to share your content as well. We'd love to watch you do your, uh, your Let's Play. Here. Something is a foot. <laughs> And combat readiness. Okay, so that's a positive one. So 17 and up is positive, 16 and up? Yep. So again, that's optional. You can take them or say, I want to go back to having all of the usual classic Good. encounters. So right now Here. we do have, and you got it, see? Success. All right. So I can go pick up my friends. Yep, and it'll be for next turn since you have uh, no yeah. more actions, but you did like perfect. Yes. Well, Puzzle solving here. I mean, <laughs> Facial arrangements or it helps out. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I didn't play Lego for all my life to To not be able to solve this <laughs> um, Big show talking about eating <laughs> unicorns crack me up Yeah, I missed that. well They were super high level and super powerful so that oh. that was insane when let's say the Joe would roll like damage for his axe and he'd roll like handful of, of d6s or d8s and roll like 60 some damage oh gosh wow that, that axe was it was on fire and inflicting crazy damage and they were attacking for three four attacks a turn that was beast mode I, like oh yeah i mean oh, oh. i was just gonna say <laughs> i didn't tell you but what? i i'm gonna start another campaign on top of okay. the other campaign and <laughs> maybe even another one but um i'm gonna be playing for the very first time I'm gonna play a dwarf cleric. Ooh, that's a fun one. Mm. I've played a dwarf cleric for, you know, in the starter campaign, and it's it's an interesting uh, character. So uh, depending on how you want to play it too, you can like either he's uh, like stoic and kind of more mm -hmm. more composed, or he's just a drunkard like picks up fights with everybody. <laughs> <who's>... <laughs> No, mine is one, you know, uh, the background oh, cool. that she has is she was raised in a temple and she's not very social. So okay. I'm playing like a shy dwarf, um, but in a way of life. So uh, extremely lawful good about everything about healing. So I'm full healer on this dwarf and I can't wait. We're going to start this this Sunday, uh, cool. this new campaign. And is it uh, a book or is it something that... That's made up. No, or? it's it's it, yeah, it's not based on a book. It's one of her friends that she's like building uh, around Waterdeep okay. and, and uh, some of the past uh, lore that we already have in the universe, you know, throughout the realms. And uh, I don't know. I'm gonna be set in. I'm gonna know more about it uh, over the weekend. So I've never played a. Uh... <laughs> and st stupid phalanges. So tough, like clumsy fingers or something is asking if there are gnomes in our game oh there are gnomes i'm assuming there are batiri warriors or vampiric warriors but there are no gnomes in our game so right? it's set in the jungles of schult so you have a bunch of veggie pygmies and lots of zombies and of course the schultens dinosaurs but no gnomes well it's not typical to have fine gnomes in schult <laughs> Lawful and, good healer cleric dwarf. Yeah. And also, it's not like discrimination on our part. That's from the board game. We use the characters from the board game, and there were no gnomes in that one. Sorry. Yeah, the, maybe. And, you know, eventually, maybe we'll. Are there, <laughs> are there gnomes in the other board games, though, Sophie? You, oh, I think so. We're but... gonna test everybody's knowledge if there are gnomes in any of the other board games. Dwarf, yeah, gnomes. Well. I'm gonna have to ask chat. Or halflings? Yeah. With the account? Because I haven't if... played all of the board games. Okay. We have them all at the office. Some of them are still in the plastic wrapper though. But some of them are open and getting looked at. Well, they're, they're in plastic wrappers because they're to give away on okay. some special occasion. So, I want to kill skeletons. So I'm going to not explore and go smack the skeleton. Here goes. Oh, yes. <laughs> Gnome one knows. <laughs> Ooh, nice one. <laughs> oh. uh, they're halflings, but I don't remember if they are gnomes in the previous games. I mean, I haven't seen or heard of that many gnomes in like the D&D mm. &D content that I've read or seen. Halflings are more common, maybe. 
because they have that like Lord of the Rings sort of fantasy. <laughs> but gnomes, <laughs> nobody knows the troubles I've seen. Okay, okay, so we're we can we can like uh, gnome pun our way through the stream. It's cool. <laughs> Something gnomes. Poison darts. I don't want to get poisoned yeah. by darts. So I will skip that one. So we got Adrenaline Surge because Phoenix rolled yes. a d20, so that boosts the whole party here. Yes, my encounter rolled a 20, so that was <laughs> pretty awesome. Uh, Yanni Spaz tells us on Facebook, there's a halfling, but no gnomes. Okay. Confirmed. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. <laughs> and, uh, okay, so this, this time I got to kill a skeleton. That's, I'm like halfway through my, my Five quest right now. out of ten skeletons, and you just found another one. And I got to explore, so the active hero will become stunned. Well, not this time. Nope. The fun thing, the fun thing. Well, the, the great thing about keep always fighting more enemies is that you get adrenaline that you can use to avoid bad encounters. Right. So that's awesome. And... Uh, and you get loot. You fight more monsters. And yes. Uh, and Birdsong dodged a trap. Awesome. Yeah, Birdsong... I'm sorry, I'm pretty good. Dodging. All so. right. I haven't played the previous game. Techno tells us on Twitch. I didn't even know about the digital version of of these until recently. Although I've seen the regular ones in the store. Well, we our game has been around for just a few months. Like we released well, uh, October. Okay, so seven, seven, eight months. Couple of months. Thank you. <laughs> That's the. You're sure to to not be wrong. And Neva, Neve is Welcome. new here. Thanks for joining us. Also, thank you, thank you everybody for being here with us. It's always cool to have some people to talk to on Fridays. <laughs> yeah, we love the Friday streams. And we get to uh, hang out with other D and D uh, fans and players, DMs of all kinds. Because as I was, as we were talking about before starting the stream, I saw a really cool T-shirt design on the Penny Arcade store that says "Stream like nobody's watching." Oh yeah, it's a nice motto, but it's it makes for sort of a kind of boring stream for the streamer, I think. <laughs> stream you, like nobody's watching is like no interaction. So. Yeah, it's fun to have people to chat with and ask questions and maybe sometimes. Fill this in if there's a gnome or a, or a halfling Ouch. in the board games. Look at the white you just you just got in your uh, your tile. Yeah, it was a pretty bad group <laughs> over there. And I got a zombie. Go, 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 Kawasha. And as usual, I split the party. <laughs> so. Looking for skeletons. That's the way to do it. So if I'm over here, I see the green eye, so I can I'm gonna be able to shoot it, right? Yep, yeah, that's okay. how it works. And a careful shot. Usually, this one is, is um, you know, you have a lot of attack bonus on, on that shot, so it's very rare to miss, especially with the weapon that you equip with. Well, usually, the way that I'm gonna mess this one up is that I'm gonna, gonna cut myself from line of sight, mm -hmm. and then I can't attack. Right, so the trick to know, you just mentioned it, but the trick to know if you are in line of sight, you just mouse over to the location you plan to go, and you'll see if there's like a red, uh, sorry, a green eye on top, and you're able to say, um, to see if you go there, you'll have line of sight or low line of sight. Because then it prevents you from having to go and then realizing after, oh man, I didn't have line yeah. of sight there. So we could probably showcase that. You see now the little green eyes? Well, I'm pointing at my screen for some reason, but... <laughs> Just on there, the monsters. Yeah, all the enemies next to their armor class icon have a little green eye right now. If I move over here, they're... Most of them, all of them are losing it because I'm cutting myself from line of sight. So little indicators. Was Is that something that was added in the, the first big patch, that kind of quality of life? It was added pretty everything? early on, yeah. yeah, but not with the... Um, it was not added with the patch of the crafting system. It was okay. later... Um, like a week or two after that, I believe. So I will come over right here and attack. Uh, which one is worse? Well, the Duralin is probably the worst yeah, one. Yeah, this one. And he's not all that difficult to. Yeah, that's to a hit. good okay. shot. Poison darts, but it did not kill it. He's not dead yet, but he's not uh, too far. Check of all trades. No, that's. Uh, how many squares is the range of Arthas's bow and arrow? So that's 
Is it measured in tiles or in little it's squares? It's measured in tiles, and uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's two, but we can just go and, and check it out whenever you're back with the artist. Yeah, his turn is going to be coming soon, so I'm going to... Some of his daily powers are three tiles, um, but the shot, I believe, is two. So I'm going to bring back Kupalue again, because he <laughs> forgot how to dodge Kupalue today. MVP. And I will attack... Okay, four damage. So that's should probably take care of that zombie. Or did I? So yeah, you already did your oh, action. So now fine. you still have movement, because Kupalue was your, um, okay. your summon. So you can still move or just. Yeah, I'm not sure if I want to move, because I'm gonna spawn more monsters. Or you have an encounter and you have a bunch of people on your your tile. So. Yeah. Uh, okay, I'm going. To you wouldn't be able to cancel whatever encounter you have. And I found the chest, so that's great. Um, so, don't be saying, I haven't played the game for about three months. Has there been any big, big updates that I've missed? Oh, yes. Um, we've added the exploration mode. So, it's a mode you play um, that is adjusted more for a faster pace uh, of gameplay. So, you don't have the encounter of no explorations. We've had a new uh, positive encounters, new oh. puzzle tiles since. So, uh, a couple cool things you haven't seen since you last tried out the game. And those were all free updates, okay, so if you just patch your game, hop in, you'll be able to see those. Oh boy. Nice! <laughs> I had not seen the animation for oh, Scorching Ray, so and it scorches. It's three attacks. Yeah, that's so awesome. You can still select, because you only did two, I believe. One. Yeah, I missed one. Uh, okay. But I had never seen... That's more than a scorch. <laughs> that's a <laughs> beam of fire from the heavens. <laughs> that's awesome. <laughs> I love that one. And... All right, Angry Jay, thank you for coming. Yeah, and even if you're staying for only a couple of minutes, it's always nice to have people to chat with. Can I go back to work? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all right. Techno, Skulls. Um, okay, that will be that. Uh oh, okay. Oh, it's just a puzzle. It's not a boss. You don't yeah, have I was a boss. <laughs> I was worried about the big like four by well, two by two tile that comes with a boss, right. and uh, it's usually pretty rough. So that. Hmm, so I can lightning arrow this one. Or I can come here and lightning arrow. I will do that. Need a seven. Because you want to explore, yeah. Yeah, you don't want to lag behind and get more and more encounters. But at least since we got the new exclusive encounters, there are a couple positive ones. Mm -hmm. Because the game right out of the box has like two positive encounters and the rest is all bad stuff. Right. Or roughly. It may, seem, it may seem like very uh, punitive uh, on the... is that a word? Well, yeah, punitive or harsh, harsh. I guess, or mean. <laughs> but it's a lot harder on the board game. So... Artist... Is he still alive? Ooh. Yeah, I think he's just barely... Okay, okay. Just barely standing. So I can go fight that... I'm gonna go see what Compelled Duel looks like. And since you're next to Artis, you can use your potion on him as oh, also. Awesome. And that works. So, oh. There you nice go. <laughs> and I will give it to Artis. Right, so you were you were picking up your item, but okay. yeah. There you go. To help. But now I'm gonna get an encounter and roll mine. You have plenty of adrenaline though. So you're gonna run both campaigns at the same time, like? Yeah. So I'm, like I said, there may be even a third one because another one of our friends just sent a message to our Facebook group and it's like, "Hey, I'm not starting a game. <laughs> and like, I'm just starting a new one on on um, on Sunday. We're also doing Tomb of Annihilation, and then I'd be like three D and D campaign going on at the same time. I don't know, you guys, how many campaigns you run at the same time. I've never done three at the same time, let, let alone having two at the same time. So I don't know how you manage, because my, my schedule is so packed. <laughs> It'd have to be maybe a bi-weekly one, bi-weekly another, and then the other... I don't know. I just don't want to get confused in my characters yeah. and... Start role-playing your barbarian right. as a dwarf, or... I know, and... You, like, when you're really into one, you just have to, like, disconnect and then go in and jump into the other one, and... I don't know. Uh, I'm curious, uh, you guys in chat, how many campaigns are you doing right now? And would they be with different people in your case? 
But um, is it the same group just running two campaigns? It'd be a lot of the same players <laughs> with one or two differences. Okay. The, the DM would change. The DM changes, but it's the same team pretty okay. much. So Joystick is DMing two campaigns on Wednesdays. Is oh, it two like on the in the same night? Wow. So you or really got every a... other? Or... Yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Oh, no, no. Go ahead. I was... Uh... And can I use it again? Can yeah. I pounce it a second time? It seems you can because you have three actions. Probably you got like one of the uh, positive item pickups that okay. allows you to attack again. Awesome. Uh, Neil Gambit is telling us on Twitch, I just completed the story for the game and I was shocked when I saw the credits. We're doing a matching job for having such a small team. Oh, thank you, Neil. <laughs> and the names were not all full times. There were maybe like, a handful of full time and a lot of people have pitched in. So. For our studio, we're really happy, especially in the time frame in which this game was made. And, uh, okay. and we can't wait for uh, for more content for you guys, and can't wait to tell you about it. So, sixteen, very good. Come on, and I leveled up, and I'm going, getting really close to my <laughs> level one hundred ten. Right, bug you for. Of course, yeah. Tissue, please. Sorry, everybody. It's allergy season. <laughs> so choose one of the powers to recharge. You have Scorching Ray okay. or you have your Mage Armor. Scorching Ray is too awesome. <laughs> and exploring some more, hopefully to find a skeleton and a boss, apparently. It's a boss of skeletons. Okay. <laughs> is he always there or is it just, um, just luck? Right, so it's a chief. So okay. yeah, they, they can spawn randomly. He's a bitchy me chief. Yes. And so Artis and Dragon Bait are just hanging around, <laughs> yeah. super far from the action. Like I'm never gonna get there if I try to. So I will probably keep exploring, not to run into bad stuff. And Neil Gambit is saying that he looks forward to the future of the game. So awesome! Thank so, you so sorry. much. I'm sure, we have lots of things on that metaphorical like whiteboard somewhere that we're talking <laughs> about sometimes. <laughs> And okay, so I lose, I remove this advantage and I hit space bar by accident. So I get dark influence. Uh, that, could that be super bad? So the ambush sites are the green, those light beams or the green things over yes, here? Yes, over here. Yeah, the one that's like the, the shining rays on the ground. So I'm going to skip that one. Because you would have it right in the center of yeah, everything. Yeah, I don't want all that crew taking damage over there because that would be bad. So, if I come here... Okay, I'm going to come here. And if I complete my quest, am I done as soon as it's as the quest is over? Mm, uh, I think that's all this quest. Is. So you shouldn't have a secondary quest objective. Okay. I don't think so. So hopefully, I will... Finish this. And escape cleanly what this advantage fingers crossed not in camera frame but <laughs> so okay raptor time with advantage so i mean that's easy joystick is saying uh my friend is a streamer and never played D, &D. we just started lmop what is lmop mm. legend mm, or tabletop simulator yeah which what is lmop um, so from 12 to 5 p.m. So that's 5 p.m. And I also run a homebrew setting on Tabletop Simulator with a bunch of those same players, 7 to 10 on Wednesday's night. The evening one is our long-running campaign. We've been on two years now. Lost Minds of Fandelver. Ah, the starter campaign. Fandelver. Okay. That's, that's a fun one. That's the ah. one that I played the dwarf cleric in. I didn't do that. I mean, if I get a, like a big love for my dwarf, I may try like a more dwarven campaign. So I will kill the Axis skeletons. of Anarchy, welcome. Hey, PB. Hello. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us. Thank you. If you're... Okay, so I... Sorry, I interrupted myself. <laughs> uh, I am going... So it's quiet. I have to choose my encounter. And I will cancel a monster encounter and I completed the quest nice well done um, so we did not have any special announcements today there's a uh, there's something coming soon but not announced today so I'll let you guys know but uh, we did 
ask you guys if you watched the stream of many eyes or if you enjoyed the Dungeon and Dragon Steam sale that was um, up until today. If you got uh, some some new D and D games on Steam that you maybe didn't have before. Yes, because there was a, a sale all week yes. for the stream that ended like right before our stream, but. So it ran all week, and uh, our game was on sale. All the other D and D games. I think we talked about it. I'm yeah, Idol Champions okay. and Neverwinter, and some like all the Beam Dog games and and more. So. So what would be next? Right. So we we can do one that is normal that we could go horrific. So I'll let you pick. Yeah, you are free to go, Nanny so, Poo Poo. Okay, Nanny Poo Poo. Mm, let's go, Nanny. Let's do Nanny Poo Poo. So. <coughs> Talking to Liara Portier at Fort Beluarian, she doesn't know where the lost city of Umu is, that's where her campaign is, but she knows of a witch doctor in the area named Nanny Poo Poo, who's been around seemingly forever. Alright, so let's delve into the jungle and find this Nanny Poo Poo character. So PBNJ picked up Neverwinter Nights again. Yes! Yeah, I think I may have a couple versions of it too. I, yeah, I don't know about you, because I have all the old boxes for Baldur's Gates, Baldur's Gates 2, and it doesn't work on our computers anymore. Yeah, so you they're have, really old. <laughs> they're really old, but I, I still collect them, you know, I'm, I, I don't want to get rid of those. So, of course, you want to replay them, you get it on Steam, works great. And Beamdog has done a fantastic job with that, so... So... And, uh... I'm Peach Claire, or Impeach Claire. It, Impeach Claire, that would be nice, like a <laughs> chocolate Claire. And uh, it says that he, he or she doesn't do Steam, but they're available on Twitch, right? Twitch Our store? Twitch store. Oh, Our yeah. game is available on yeah. Twitch store. Some of the other games are available, of course, you know, DRM free somewhere on the interwebs. So Plus. those boxes are amazing artwork. The announced on edition on Steam works now. Yes, that's exactly what we're speaking of. You know, we bought it again because we had it back in the days, but now we play it on Steam, so we buy the game. You know, decades, decades after. Well, it's, Baldur's Gate must be at least twenty years old, or maybe a bit more. I think ninety-seven ish. Um. Yeah. Oh, at least yes. So. So that's. Uh, been collecting for some time. Yeah. I started when I first started playing Bottle Skates. I was like six or seven. Okay, I was a bit older. You're a bit older. <laughs> so okay, Dragon Bait rolled initiative, and his turn starts. We uh, you will explore. So my quest is to find your way deeper into the jungle. That is going to be a quick one, I think. Right. So you go explore. If you well, maybe not. Okay, there may be ooh, something happening after that. Okay. Spoilers. <laughs> so I not getting your hopes up. This is on horrific. Yes, you can see it on the top left of the screen. You have the purple logo. Um, it's that is horrific difficulty. Yes. Something is. And spell strike. Uh oh. Well. Okay, there's only two, three heroes. That's that could be super bad. Oh yeah. Ah uh, okay. Oh. So Koopa the way <laughs> Not too bad. took it like a champ. <laughs> What's your very, very, very first D&D class ever made in anything D&D related? Hmm. Do you remember what you made? Probably a fighter in Neverwinter Nights way back. But hmm. <laughs> was he a paladin? Was he a fighter? I think he was a fighter because usually when I play like computer games where I create my characters, I end up making sort of the tank, the forward guy. Okay. Because I don't want to be like having to tank with like the NPCs that they create and then be in the back casting, but it feels like you're not really the leader because usually the tank is while well, my character is going right. to be in front. That makes sense. Yeah. So that's kind of why I always end up playing melee guys. That makes sense. Mine was a ranger, believe it or not. I was playing a ranger uh, and got her from Baldur's Gate 1 to Baldur's Gate 2 and Throne of Ball DLC okay. all the way to level like 18 or 19 nice. and that was great. That was fun. I was almost doing like a solo campaign at <laughs> one point. <laughs> <laughs> so okay, you gain this advantage but I'm alone in my tile so mushroom spores maybe next time. Disadvantage, but that's okay. It's not too bad. Okay, so I got lunged on. 
So rogue with bows and pistols. Nice. In what game would have would they have pistols? Icewind Dale was fantastic. Yes. <laughs> okay. That's... And so PBNJ is, uh, is saying not a berserker, Sophie. That was not my first class. No, <laughs> that's what I'm playing now. But that's the first time I play a berserker as well. Um, that's the first class that I remember beating the game with. But I st I tried so many classes. You know, you just made so many characters that get nowhere. I mean. Probably all the type of wizards, uh, mages possible. Yeah, they were pretty flimsy back. Well, <laughs> they still are, but back in those days, oh, a one. They oh. were, like, look at them funny and they blow up, but... <laughs> Yoni Spaz says on Facebook, I, I was an elf, that was the race in the class, way back in Red Box D&D. Okay. Oh, wow. Back when the, cla the different races and classes had, like, different XP levels to level up, I think. Well, I saw some. I saw a, wow. a streamer play like a really old D and D computer, well, video game on a console, like Turbo Graphics, I think, or Sega. And yeah, his, like his health, not his health, but his elf was yes. took like five times as long as anybody else to level up, which was crazy. They have pistols if you play Ravenloft. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's what uh, Impeach says. The Rangers are amazing. Do you assign characters to one campaign or setting and another two? I'm trying to understand your question. Do I assign characters to one campaign? So like in the real the pen and paper campaign? Would be here. No, here. Or, or the setting. Oh. Okay. I, I don't know. You mean if I create a character, do I go with the campaign or the setting or another like factor? Yeah, um, well, usually I, I see because I'm always the last one in the party to, to make <laughs> my character. <laughs> um, so I always see what my teammates have done and I, I can see what we're lacking. And that usually, usually I go into something that, all oh, right, I think we may need that, guys. So PB and J, we're in the same way. We're on the same wavelength because I'm really looking forward to playing a Celestial Warlock oh. at some point. And his is going to be funny. touched by a unicorn. Probably not mine, <laughs> but that's a good idea too. Why not? Could be uh, fun. I still have, I already have a backstory <laughs> built up, and there's no uh, unicorn that's going to come like, uh, give me power in my hour of need. Like he's not going to put his hoof on my shoulder and say like, <laughs> so he's going to talk. But uh, yeah, that would be a, a strange patron. That's going to be a nice challenge for your DM though, because he's going to have to like role play a. a Unicorn that's gonna like talk to you and interact with you and guide you. That should be interesting. Right. Roll twenty is just after us yeah. in about fifteen minutes. So after after our stream is over, uh, they're jumping. They're jumping in. Uh, one again. So we're gonna do our giveaway in about five six minutes or so. Uh oh. Okay. This was not part of the plan. Uh oh. Surprise. <laughs> well, Dopey JT, the it's sort of instead of being like in a deal with the a devil or uh, like not Cthulhu, that's in Warcraft, but uh, <laughs> Cthulhu, you kind of make a deal with a divine being that gives you power. So you're sort of a different kind of cleric, sort of, but you're still a warlock because you play with those rules. So. And the mushroom spores. Right. Mushroom spores? Uh, Shiz, this is Tales from Kennel Keep. This is the digital adaptation of the board game Tomb of Annihilation. And we're out on Steam now. Roll 20 is great. Is she? Uh, she's fantastic. So Genghis Galahad, my paladin pen and paper, as a steed via the spell summon. Oh, nice. What kind of steed do you have? Hmm, only two. So. Ice Storm would be awesome, but if they were all well, we the, can mon get two. the monsters are smart, I think, because they <laughs> did not all stack on the same tile, <laughs> which would be really great in my right now. But so I can toss fireballs. Yeah, you could try and get so some. I'll come over here to toss fireballs on the zombies. Seven damage is more than enough with disadvantage of 12. That's good. Cool. So, a tabaxi bard with a cat steed. Okay, hmm. interesting. Um, she is, yeah, it's turn-based. 
It's exactly like the board game, you know, Tomb of Annihilation, Temple of Elemental Evil, Legend of Dreads. Um, so it's based on the adventure system. So essentially, like you can see on the screen, turn-based, uh, you have your heroes and and you... Uh, well, in our game, we have some uh, additions to the board game. We'll let you discover that. So the zombies are coming, right? Do I have to kill five of them to... <laughs> yes. So they're going to keep coming every turn. That's, okay. that's what's happening. So Nanny Poo Poo got you somewhere and now you're being raided. So something's off. She lied to you somehow. We'll let you let you discover that too. But uh, you got to stop that, that assault. You can kill five zombies if you want to make it out alive. Because they're going to keep coming. Uh, hmm. So am I going to be able to use Song of Rest if I attack? Uh, so you can... A good way to see is you mouse over and look on the top right of the box. So active, active that's going to take an action point. Oh, okay, that makes sense. And, well, you don't need to, to play the board games to keep up with the story. Everything's in there. But, yeah, the, the board games are really interesting. They're like a sort of an, an introduction to... Are we frozen? No, no. No, oh, okay, Demented Shark is asking, but... Oh. So, okay. So... The, our game and oh, the board games. Oh, they say games. that too here. Our video. Let me cheat. Let me see. Oh, I, hmm. So let's give it a cycle. Like, let's keep going and see what happens. I'm gonna check here. So our game is sort of an intro. Well, the board games and our game are an introduction to D and D in general because you're going to be able to bring your friends to instead of saying like, "Hey, you want to join us for a campaign that's gonna last 50 hours?" Yes. And if he's never played before, that may be a bit intimidating. Intimidating, yes. And instead, you can invite them over for, let's say, a three-hour game where you play a mission or two in the in the board games, or you can maybe, if you win the giveaway, or offer them our game. Okay. You can they can play a couple missions and see that wow, this is interesting. The different character classes, you can fight, you can see different monsters, you can have encounters get gear so you can maybe lure them well lure them that sounds bad but you can bring them to D D. lure your friends yeah come well, on. luring is <laughs> sort of negative but you're not like so driving a white panel Felix? van or something are you okay I you're am, pretty <laughs> i sort of have uh you're overrun by zombies now yeah feeling from those scorching ray three those, of them at least Okay, that's nice. Yes. I have a feeling from when my XCOM <laughs> campaign goes really bad. Oh, you're not in range for three. Okay. Well, that's going to be two. That's going to be uh, four. Yes, that's enough. Okay. Boom. All right, skeleton. this one wouldn't have died, so you maybe attack it twice. So Okay, so it's just like a, a, a temporary uh, down, I guess, on the stream. And, okay, so I'm going to attack this one again. Yes. So, uh, what is the giveaway? We're giving yeah, the game and also uh, one of the DLCs for Kawa Shop. Um, and any plans for releasing the game to GOG? We've had discussions, um, and it, it's well, it's been it's been looked into. There was a reason why it didn't go through at that time. I'm not really sure if the dev team plans to go on GOG down the road, but since we're out on the Twitch store, it may uh, be a possibility. Uh, we'll let you guys know if we do have uh, of that coming, because I know they're working on a lot of stuff right now. So maybe that's part of that. Artists. Okay, so that was a really bad idea, Dragon Bait. Why did you go try to solve the puzzle? <laughs> yes, uh, yep, I, I will go in and get, get the zombies while you can. So I will come over here and smack that zombie. All right. It would have been nice to swift strike, but you do what you can. Oh, you, oh my gosh, you only needed four and you don't oh. even have that? Hmm. Hi. Okay, so heroism. You could have been next to a shower, but... Well, use a cloak, because a cloak will dodge the next attack. Okay. On you, so that, hopefully that could... they're gonna come to me. But dragon bait is not in a bad bad spot right now. It's doing fine. Yeah, I'm not gonna buff myself for. Yes. So Kawasha DLC is the best DLC. All. I agree with you. Kawasha, I, I love playing Kawasha. Also. So spell strike. I'm going to cancel that one because I don't wanna. So Jordan Hart is asking if there is any chance for other DLCs like the other board games like Castle Ravenloft. It's in the talks. Very much so. That would be something we want to do uh, on the roadmap. All right. Dropping cloak. Paid off. Oh, look at where they are. That would be a nice kind of cold or... Yeah, well, Artist is going to get back up. Yeah. So, 
Eventually, after every zombie, so... Oh, nuts. Uh, what can I do? What can I do? So the first one attacks one adjacent monster, um, and this one so, attacks yeah, one monster within one tile. So either way, it's one uh, enemy. Well, I can most likely kill this one. I have advantage oh. and a plus 11 to it. So boom, bye-bye, zombie. That's two of them. You could go with the shark, uh, with the shark, eel her. Oh, you can't move. No, can you move? Uh, I didn't move yet, so I... I think they're they're getting you stuck there. Okay, so I will good berry because I want to not die. <laughs> and so, yeah. what are we asking people for the giveaway? Because right. we're going to be running out of time. So, so. we do have uh, the base game and Kawasha DLC to give away, guys. The way we function, because... We're streaming on a lot of platforms right now. We're on two Twitch, we're on two YouTubes, we're also on, on Mixer, on Facebook. So we can't do a bot giveaway with like regular raffles that you may see over on Twitch. So the way we do it, we ask a question and the first person that gets the question right has the key. So if you do win, send an email. You see the email address at the bottom of the overlay, ms at talesfromcanalkeep.com. And the first question we are going to ask is, my question or yours? I have one. Okay, So go ahead. I'm going to ask this question for the Kawasha DLC. So the question that I have is uh, we saw that we had a first quest that we did today. We had to uh, oh. essentially defeat skeletons to do an offering to Merkel. I'd like to know Merkel is the lord of what? What is your lord of? That's maybe a tough one. And I win. But it, 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 let me give you a hint, it's related to skeletons. It's a lord of something related okay. to skeletons. I think you know what it is. Yeah, well, now that you're, <laughs> you're saying it, I remember. Yes. Good luck, guys. And so, we've got eyes on chat. So, also, Ice Storm was awesome. <laughs> Not only did I win the, the mission, but also the effect looked super cool. Way to go. Good job. Too horrific today, Felix. That was yes. tough. <laughs> S wild, yeah, that's a very complete answer. He's the lord of the rings. Yes. <laughs> He's the lord of bones. So yes, uh, S wild, you have it. So send an email at ms at talesfromcanalkeep.com. If you want the key before the weekend, be sure you send an email before the next hour because then the office is closed and we don't want you to wait all weekend for and your key. The team, aka Sophie, is. I want to send it to you office. today, so <laughs> send me an email right now if you if you can, and I will take care of it after the stream. And thank you. Well, and congratulations. Yes. All right, second question, and now that's for the base game. So, okay, that's the base game one. Okay. Uh, I was gonna ask just like what quest did I do, but that's kind of. <laughs> that's kind of right on screen, also. Sort of in your face. <laughs> well, you were all there like two minutes ago. How did I win? How did I complete the quest? With what spell or ability did I complete the quest? So maybe. which daily power? Yeah. So I'm going to maybe inch my way there. Yeah, well, you won't be to the crafting system. You have to go to a quest. Oh, okay. Sorry. <laughs> the so. email. Oh, it's right down here on the overlay. You see under all the social media platforms, ms at talesfromcanalkey.com. So Bonhead. Hi, Storm. A strum, but you well, see, correct. yeah, be corrected. I mean, we, Fast enough. Yeah, good job. So that was it. Congratulations. So Scott's clan sent an email saying to ms at talesfromcandlekeep.com within the next hour if you want to have it over the weekend. Because uh, after that, we're, we're off and the office is closed and I won't yep. have access to my emails. So we need to have you guys uh, send the key. So... All right, the World 20 uh, is going to join uh, right yes. after us. Also, is, are you going to E3 next week? I'm not going to be at E3, but some people in our team are going uh, there for business development. So you may see some become studios around E3, but we don't have a boot for oh, okay. Tales from Canada Keep. So, uh, not, for not that, that show, interesting. <laughs> it's, it's a, yeah, we go for business development, okay. but it, if you're watching and you know, we don't know who's watching, but if you want to, you know, sit down and meet with someone from the studio and the business team, just leave us a message and we can make that happen. So Jordan is asking the question that we get pretty much every week. Yeah, that's if a great question. there's a co-op mode coming soon in the future update. 
Well, so, it's coming soon as soonish, TM. Well, yeah, soon asterisk. <laughs> so uh, we don't have, I don't have a date for you, um, but as soon as we uh, we have one, we'll let you know. We'll let you know for sure. And uh, we are in Quebec City. We're in Quebec. Quebec yes. City, where the G7 is happening right now, and everybody's barricading their doors yeah, and windows. I heard, but, like, yeah, like military helicopters this week yeah. during dinner today. Yeah. But yeah, yeah it was, it's so nice. I mean, we're in the it's hottest in place my in the area, office. So it's good, yeah. But yeah, well, yeah, you live next door. <laughs> so, also, so Rav Bunny is asking for Tomb of Annihilation on Switch. Well, uh, maybe I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'll let the team know. All right, uh, so hey, we have to make way for Roll20, so yeah. they have a couple minutes to do their, their test and all that. So um, they're coming up. I don't know if, if Adam is in the chat or Blue Jay, but um, they're awesome. Be sure you stay and watch their show. Um, I believe they're still playing Tomb of Annihilation, but correct me if I'm wrong. Um, all right. Well, we have to look at the schedule. All right. So thank you, everybody, for joining us. It's always cool to, I'm going to, I'll tap out. And it's always good to have people in the chat to talk with. And you guys are great, as always. So, uh, what else is there? Like, have well, a good have weekend. a great weekend. Thank you, so, guys. Bye. Bye, everybody.